hey guys welcome back to my channel oh hi i'm ella i'm really excited on today's video because a lot of people have been asking questions on the meaning of this the meaning of this i have been asked that question and i have also asked people that question so this is your opportunity to learn these terms so on today's video we are talking about 10 terms every actor must know on set if you're an old subscriber thank you for sticking with me and watching this video from the beginning to end if you're a new subscriber i love you to the moon and back thank you for coming to learn with us as an actor there are certain things that would be said on set that wouldn't be explained to you it's left for you to learn it on your own so i'm here to make this video to educate you guys on the meaning of those terms Number one, we talk about call time. For every meeting and every gathering, there should be a time given. So for actors, this is the time where actors gather and they must be present. If your call time is 7 a.m., you should be there 7 a.m., not 7.03, not 7.05, but 7 a.m. By this time, all actors are supposed to be gathered and then proceed shoot number two we talk about blocking what do we mean by blocking blocking is the physical movement on set here the director or the assistant director which we call the ad takes it as a responsibility to position the characters in that set or on that set where they are supposed to be if they're supposed to move their hands this way or this way at this particular time so that is what we refer to as blocking the third term is back to one them can be very confusing because you'd be like what is one one there is the beginning position when your director or your ad says back to one it simply means start from the beginning is that simple <laughs> these are just basic acting terms that you need to know so when um while acting the director says okay back to one all you have to do is start from the beginning go to where you were before when you started if you were off the camera when they started the particular scene you go off so it's back to one start from the beginning and number four we have take you hear a couple of times where a director says take one take two take three and at some point when people say take you're like okay give me no that is very take wrong. is just the number of times that particular has been shot you could hear take five take six it's just the number of times that scene has been shot so take one the first time take two the second time of the same scene and then number five we have standing by so in standing by we mean everybody have to be ready to shoot so you hear the camera guy say standing by you hear the audio guy say standing by you also, you also hear, hear the light guy say standing by so standing by is when you are ready to shoot when everybody's ready when the director says standing by everybody needs to be alert to stop whatever you're doing any movement. any movements going on at that point any communication any um distraction you just have to discharge it and get into what you're doing so standing by is basically get ready for shoot and then number six we have rolling rolling is basically rolling the camera rolling the sound rolling the it's almost like standing by but it's not standing by standing by is just get ready meanwhile rolling is start already rolling is a few seconds you have before you hear action when the director says rolling everybody needs to be up and doing you start recording you start the audio recording the camera record the video recording everybody has to be alert and be attentive to hear action and then number seven we have pick up when your director says or your um, ad says pick up what do they mean pick up is basically okay say what you said before 
for example if you're making a video now and then make a mistake with just a word and then your director don't want to start from the beginning so what he says is pick up and and the director also says pick up when he doesn't want the camera to cut or when he doesn't want to start all over he doesn't want to cut that particular scene so you just start from the beginning so you don't have to do the whole rolling um standing by all those things no so he just says pick up so let me give you a quick example can someone tell me what's going on here because emilia oh what's that word <sighs> pick up and action can someone tell me what's going on here emilia oh my god <laughs> The next term you need to know in acting is cheat. <laughs> when I say cheat, I don't mean cheating in exam or cheating in hell, no. When your director wants to cheat, he means a little bit of tweak. Yeah. Cheat is a slight movement that is going to suit the camera positioning and everything. Your director could just say, okay, cheat to the left or cheat to the right. He might not necessarily want to use the word shift, so the word he has to use is cheat, cheat to the left or cheat to the right. He might say, okay, let's cheat. You have to do your shoulder this way so the person could be above your shoulder and also that's basically what we talk about when we say cheat on set. Another very important word, which is our ninth term today is action. Action is when the whole drama plays out, is when the character shows the audience what they are made of. Action is when the whole game begins. Action said by the director just means, okay, press play. You know, when your director says action, I always advise people to count one to three in their mind before acting. So it's be able to help the people in the post-production, couple of things. When hearing the word action, you need to do, leave everything you're doing and act. We're going to take a quick example. Stop it! <laughs> action. Never you in your dare life try that again. Okay, that's basically it. So when you hear action, I always advise people, like I said, wait for a few seconds before you start acting so you get into character you get the whole emotions involved and everything so the tenth and last term we are going to be talking about today is cut when you hear this word cut please end whatever drama you are doing because that is when that scene is over the director says cut everybody needs to end camera rolling cut audio cut everything cut but there's something you need to know once your director says action and then you start playing out the whole thing you have to wait even if you're done with your lines you're done with um, everything they ask you to do the whole movement and everything you have to wait until your director says cut if you've not heard cut please continue acting continue being involved in the character Continue doing you until you hear cut. Cut is the final say. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned from the 10 terms that are given to you now. I would advise you pick a pen and a paper and write them down just so you could remember and put them into acting. Thank you once again for watching. I do hope to see you in my next video thank you thank you thank and you please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe please don't forget to subscribe engage in this video as much as possible i need your contributions your comments everything you have to say even your questions you could just drop it in the comment section and please hit that notification bell you see on the screen so you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you thank you for watching till my next video Bye.